our next guest has been spreading a little bit of positivity and joy by taking us to her happy place. Yeah. <laughs> That's you. That is me. <laughs> Uh, but now Fern Cotton is taking her happy place on the road. I was just looking, thinking, wow, you look so radiant. Oh, you distracted oh, me, that's what it was. Yeah. 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 Fern's here, everyone, Fern. Hi. Yeah. Yes. I like the dramatic pause. It sort of built suspense. It was nice. Yeah, suspense. Yeah. It was great. So I like that. You, do, I've, you, you look so happy. Bless you. Which is so nice I to see. I feel happy. I mean, it's the school holidays, so it's, there's challenges, <laughs> but bar that, I'm happy. It's a different version of happiness, Yes, isn't it? it is. How did this all come about? Let's start at the very, mm. very beginning. Uh, the happy place and what you've created, a, a, a space for people to go yeah. to just get positivity mm -hmm. from. Yeah, well, I wrote a book called Happy about five years ago and it was the first sort of go at writing something very honest and about my actual real life and experiences. And that just sort of snowballed into the podcast, first of all, which we're still doing now, four and a half years later. Wow. And then all of these lovely branches have sort of sprung from the podcast, really, the festival being one and we have a book imprint now and some other things launching later in the year. So, yeah, I feel very lucky I've got a kind of part two of my career and... I feel very privileged to, to be doing it. Yeah. Did you think that there was a, uh, like a gap in the market or was it something that you felt we all needed? Because, you know, there is uh, a lot of talk about mental well-being mm -hmm. and looking after yourself, you know, whatever's in between your ears, that is the biggest muscle in your body, so therefore if there's a problem with that, you have to talk about it yeah. and get it out. Is that something that... Was it a moment when you realised, we don't do this? No, Why don't we do this? Not really. I don't think I was... I wasn't sort of foreseeing that gap in the market. It was more out of my own personal need to do something about my own mental health. And, to and was there nowhere for you that. to go at that time? Or I think it was, you know, that I guess people like Stephen Fry have been having this conversation mm -hmm. for a lo lot longer mm. than me, but it has obviously built in momentum hugely over the last sort of five, ten years. So at the time when I was feeling very low, I certainly didn't feel I could say anything at work, which I think is still a huge problem for yeah. many people in the workplace, that mm -hmm. you can't talk to your boss, line manager, whoever it is, even your colleagues some of the time, your workmates. So I certainly felt quite alone in that aspect of things. Um, and that's really propelled all of the work, talking to other people, whether they're celebrities or whether they're experts, people that are very knowledgeable in the mental health arena, and either picking up tips or just hearing other people's stories. Yeah. That's helped me personally. So a lot of it's been sort of quite a sort of selfish endeavour because I've wanted to learn, I've wanted to gain new tools, new experiences and meet people that are willing to share their stories. And that's why it just keeps building momentum because there's always more people to I talk to. I think that's mm. what was so, so nice about your podcast to start because you were... You really were trailblazing with that. When I think of podcasts, I actually, you're like one of the people that I think of because you were really one of the first. And I know you probably won't like to say that yourself, but it's true, right? And I think what is so nice about your podcast and what has continued is that, like, it's not just, oh, I'm a celebrity, so I'm going to talk to you. It's real interesting, inspiring stories and taking something from those conversations. And I think that's what, you know, me as a listener would really get out of it. Yeah, I mean, it was... It was an interesting time personally because I'd come from radio mm. and a lot of people were questioning, why are you leaving radio to start a podcast? And the first few guests I asked to come on, I asked Dawn French, who was my first guest. Wow. And she, I texted her and she texted back and said, I don't know what a podcast is, but yes. <laughs> and that was the sort of general feeling, yeah. like, what is a podcast? Yeah. And I think now, obviously, podcasting is huge. Well, everybody and... is a podcast. Yeah, now, exactly. Seems, right? So I, I feel very lucky that I started in the sort of early days of podcasting, mm -hmm. but... You have to keep the momentum going, keep the guests interesting um, and interested and, and the audience likewise. And that's the, the greatest yeah. challenge. But I love it. I love doing it so much. And and it, sorry, it's go on. Sorry, no, after you. Oh, Ladies okay. first. We're very <laughs> polite, aren't we? Well, I was saying, in doing so, you've built such a nice community, which now means you can do things like the festival, yes. right? So tell, yes. tell us all about this. So we did the first festival in 2019. We had hoped to continue it every year, and obviously that did not happen. No. We had one year where we did a digital festival, which went very well, actually. Yes. We were kind of testing the ground yeah. and seeing how that would work. But we're back in real life this year. The first one is this weekend, which I'm slightly in denial about. Because <laughs> it is terrifying <laughs> to think that it's this weekend in Chiswick. And then we have one in Tatton Park in Cheshire in September. And it's just a beautiful big weekend where you get to come along and take part in things like... Meditation groups, wow. breath workshops, yoga. The talk space is one of my favourites. There's just people all day on a stage, storytelling, talking, 
experts, some celebrities, a whole mix of people like the podcast. Mm -hmm. There's stuff for families to do, kids stuff, food, a little shopping area. It's just a good wow. weekend of happiness. Really cheap tickets, 35 quid for a day, loads going on. How much a day? 35 quid. That's really cheap. That's well, look, really good value for money. My for. mission is that all of this stuff, where you, whether you, you call it wellness, right? well-being, whatever the hell you want to call it, it has to be accessible. This isn't some sort of middle class thing. You this can is, price people This out. has to be for yes. everybody. Yes. I'm from a working class family. This stuff has to be mm -hmm. for everybody. But where can I get a ticket for? You just go onto the Happy Place website. What is it? <laughs> this is happyplaceofficial.com. And how much or is tickets? it official happy place? Now I've gone a bit blank now on we'll, live TV. We'll, we'll find it. I'll put a little link anyway, to it. Anyway, go on the website or just Google happy place and tickets are there and there's so much going on and it's just a real feel-good weekend. So I'm... basically the festival is everything that you've talked about since yeah. the podcast and everything that you've discovered since your journey started. And I'm started. going to be doing live podcasts, four live podcasts. Oh, amazing. Oh, wow. This weekend we've got DJ Fat Tony, Rylan, Stephen Bartlett and Tom Walker all doing big oh, on-stage live oh, podcasts. Oh, there's a good fish That's a really good of, night. Of yeah, it's going to be cool. No. It's going to be awesome. amazing. Good luck with it. I'm honestly, so I'm so happy. I'm so happy for you and your happy oh, place. Gosh, honestly, I really, you. really am. And we we'll have to just quickly say that um, oh, I'm loving you on Gogglebox with our very own Gog. Oh, I love doing it's that. It's the dream. It is the dream. It's, it's a dream for us. We just sit there watching TV. It's great, <laughs> having a laugh. It's brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Fern, thanks thank for coming. Guys. In. Always thank a pleasure you. to see you. Right.